uh, team wiped, yeah, go to rush, get team wiped, and those decision making, that decision making from Fnatic was definitely what costed them the game. So hopefully they looked back and were probably like, yeah, we could have actually, we could have definitely won this game if we just played maybe a little bit more patient, maybe some better decisions. We'll see what adjustments they do make. We look at the drafts, we're going to have identical drafts coming up. Same bans, same draft. So see how Empire yeah. responds. Do they do no Night Stalker? So hey, again. <laughs> I mean, they could, couldn't they? they? They seem very confident with their Night Stalker. Maybe AA Shaker, maybe AA Night Stalker, one of the two. AA is pretty damn good versus the IO, so I wouldn't. They would stray away from that one. There we go. Absolutely bang on. Keep into the same there. I won't be surprised if they just take the Night Stalkers, unless they wanted to try something different, you know what I mean? I mean, it might be useful for these teams in these group stages to. You no, know, try not to stick to the same too much. Even if it is. Winning you the games is variety. A shaker or night stalker? That's what I'm thinking. Of. Yeah, some sort of synergy with the AA. Let's have a look. Yeah, they just stick nice. with the so same ones. The same. Okay, okay. It worked. They, they want to they get the comfortable win. Yeah. See if Fnatic, uh, they themselves, I would imagine we will see them change up. I don't know if they'll necessarily pick up the, the Monkey King again. It, I mean, it was good in lane. You know, Q obviously knew what he was doing, but it definitely got to that point where it fell off for, for sort of numerous reasons there. Yeah. He was he was obviously unable to keep up with the farm rate of this bots PL and and, and obviously Sven with the, the cleave damage and the farm potential that he has. And, and they also, it forced them to put a safe lane Ember, which is also a little yes. bit awkward. Yeah. We'll see. Fnatic. Could look to try and get the IO partnership earlier. We saw obviously a few of them being banned out last time by Empire because they did yeah. leave it later on. So. And Empire did take the third pick, Sven, so it was possible that Fnatic wanted it. But they're doing it again. Same draft. Monkey King again. Literally the same drafts. Yeah. What well, Monkey King? A Monkey King was picked later. It was wasn't picked he? later. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was picked later. So the order is slightly different, but yeah. In terms of the heroes that we've seen so far, no different from game one. Let's see if Empire decides to change up the bands. Can you remember what they banned out in the second phase? It was. Let's see if I can remember. Uh, uh, TA, was it? They banned TA and they banned. What was the other one? I didn't want to have to look, but I, I had to look. <laughs> it wasn't the Knicks. Okay, so we've got a bit of difference there. So they ban out the Knicks. That, it's TA and Ursa. So that's right. Time. They banned out the secondary uh, IO partner of the year. So. Oh, yeah, that is right. Yeah. No, I want to see, I want to see some, uh, some Troll Wall or Monkey King lineup. That's just, that's the that's the dream, you know. Battle chance, Jinkin mastery. If Troll wasn't such a poo hero right now, maybe. Really? Is he? Yeah, he's okay. Well, people were playing with Charles. Some people is he falling? Is he bit. is he falling off again? People don't like him anymore. I don't think he's been picked too many times. He's got to be in a few. Yeah, he's, got, games. he's got ten games. He's got fifty percent. Yeah, right, he's, right, he's, he's in the he's in the middle. Jumping, jumping ahead of it. I mean, I I would go with you in the sense that he's obviously not. Amazing. Mm. Seeming to be average. Sven is seeming to be the hot commodity right now. I wouldn't I'm even, surprised I don't know they've not banned it. They may even just pick it. Sven is actually yeah. picked in like 15 games and has 80% win rate. That, you, that, you definitely pick the Sven, I think, if you're he's Empire. He's been owning. I mean, in all yeah, the games that we've seen. Yeah, he's great Yeah, he's super good versus Monkey King. Yeah. That Warcry is just pick very the Sven. good. The Warcry is very good, and also just having that. I mean, having an extra lockdown for Monkey King, that burst is super good. Monkey King, very low armor hero. Definitely gets punished from high physical. And any disables, actually. They're like, do we just wrap the same? I think probably they're thinking yeah. this, probably like, do I, do I actually just pick? They banned Batrider, though, <laughs> so we can't get all the same hero. No. I have to get something else for Ghost Stick this game, but... No, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Rezo Sven come through. You might, right? Because they can still pick the Sven for... Yeah, yeah just pick can, the Sven! They did it anyway. Why yeah. not? Of course. It's a good hero for them, and yeah. it's a deny pick. Makes sense to no me. No reason not to pick it, and indeed Empire just take it. Same draft as game one. Now, Fnatic, they've got to go somewhere different. There's no Darkseer, there's no, Darkseer, here, there's no, no Nyx. Nyx Assassin. They're both banned out this time. But what was their fifth last time? Um, Ember. Ember. Okay, Ember's still there. I don't think the Ember was, was necessarily bad. Maybe he could have done with getting the Yules before the bots when they were far ahead. And Maybe. I mean, yeah. We, it's we hard did see him get caught out a few times. Yeah. It's hard to tell just because of the nature of how that game kind of yeah. ended in the last 10 minutes. It was just like yeah, I, two I get, big Fnatic deaths yeah. and then... And I guess to be fair, because of the speed that PL got his diffuser blade, the Yules doesn't really do too much. Not yeah, it sure removes the silence, but if you if you can bring you straight back down, they're 
they're going to be able to time it for some further lockdown. Yeah, and a lot of Fnatic's damage in that last game was like, you know, the Darkseer, Ion yeah. Shell with the Ember Spirit with Veil, but then PL gets the Diffusal and he just purges it off. Okay, okay. I think they did this yesterday too, did they not? Alright. I mean, it's definitely been picked. We haven't seen it in any of our games, but Abyssal Underlord coming through. All right, just kidding. They did not do this. They did it during. The, okay. I remember seeing it though. But it was during yeah. the qualifiers when they're, when they were playing during the qualifiers and they're doing their Bloodseeker like every single game. They are picking Underlord as well. I mean, obviously nice against this Fen Knight Stalker run at you line up. You got a bit of control. It's it is a hero that can be pretty nasty to lane against. But then again, I would have said the same thing with the the dark scene. We saw how well Resolution could deal with that. So Resolution may may just do fine. Anyway, against this Underlord. I'm not crazy about Underlord as a hero. Sure, yeah. At all. Like, he just... He doesn't really give you too much on the table. To the table. Like, sure, the root thing can be really cool. And, like, Firestorm is like, wow, it's percent damage and everything. But And he has Atrophy Aura and, you know, your Uber Teleport. But that's your offlaner. Your offlaner, you want to be, for the most part, your initiator. Or your way to start the fight. Or your way to counter-initiate. Underlord just kind of throws his spells out. He's just another hero. And his laning phase is pretty atrocious now from all the nerfs he's gotten. If he gets shut down in lane, he has no recovery. All right, so, clockwork they get clockwork. so that'll be the offlane for a ghost stick, more than likely. The e clockwork. Yeah. Easy so way be... to isolate Thunderlord or the Monkey King. Yeah, make sure the Monkey King has trouble getting the the right clicks through. Mm -hmm. Also, obviously, very nice for for spotting the Monkey King up in the trees, having that extra bit of yeah. vision game. More vision. Rocket flare. Yeah. yeah, the clock and the Night Stalker. They had the Bat Night Stalker yeah. last time, so this time, vision game is win vision is winning a lot of these games. A lot of the high up games are now the group stages, which tends to be a big thing. Well, it's not just vision; it's vision, and if you have the initiation or counter initiation. See what they do want to take. I mean, specifically, just interested in what they'll do for the R R Jits role. Ursa, of course, is still in. I mean, we, again, those those IO partners. Maybe they just PA. <laughs> they they could. I mean, it was banned out indeed That's, last time. It's fanatic. Switch, switch it around. Get the PA in. I don't the think Monkey King elsewhere. I don't think he's great here, but you know, I don't put it past these guys. Okay, they're gonna change it. So they'll have, that'll be the DJ hero right there. Just okay. Trying to punish the lanes. Enchantress can wreck pretty hard. That's the thing. This hero has such high skill cap and uh, potential in a lot of games because what does AA and Night Stalker do to Enchantress creeps? They can't really do anything. They can't threaten at all. So this could this could be a big space maker. He could play either around the Io and the Monkey King or he could really make Underlord have a good game just by sitting in that top lane with him creeps. We'll see what DJ chooses to do with that Enchantress, but that pick, that pick could be nice. It gives him some more damage too with the impetus through the Sven. But they're five men in comparison. Fanatics versus Empires. It still looks very, very, very weak. Their overall draft. I will still ban out the Ursa. Something that they banned out last time. Do so again. Now Fnatic themselves. Just have to worry about the, uh, obviously the uh, mid laner here from Empire. And uh, they will take away the OD from FN. And of course, still could go for that that PL yet again. I mean, it's I wouldn't say it's that even that much worse of a game for for the PL to come through. No, there's not really any stun. Yeah, there's they, they only do it again. there's only a boundless strike. Not really too concerning. I mean, we saw as well. Even though he got taken down a couple of times in lane, he's still didn't have that bad of a time at all. I mean, maybe they just maybe Empire goes for like a storm or something themselves. There's actually there's no. I mean, the brute sure could be obnoxious, and the boundless strike. Yeah, laning phase would be rough. But I don't think he's to the same. They, they go to the Emperor again? Alright, I mean, sticking with their guns, Fnatic. Despite the, the tough game they had in... Are they going to put him mid on? this time? That's why they banned the OD? I don't know. I, and they're going to run the Monkey that... King safe lane? Nah, I reckon don't think keep, so, right? I don't think they'll switch it up. I mean, you're right, they could. I don't know, I mean, obviously the OD is kind of nice against the Monkey King as well, but... And it's one of FN's stronger ones. Just still leave the, the big ones like the Invoker. As we say, like the PL, if he does want to just go for that again. What's the plan going to be here from FN? I think she goes for like... I mean, they were crushing the early game, so maybe uh, they they're did, just thinking yeah. that... They're yeah. probably thinking maybe we just made so many mistakes, a couple mistakes, and we lost because of that. I mean, they did make some crucial decision-making. They had a very good early game. Let's see what they pick up for Empire. They take the Queen. 
Okay. Very strong mid laner. That's it. So it is going to be the safe lane Monkey King. It is QM. Oh, you're right. They're yeah, switching it. They did switch it up. Okay. I so thought it was, it was going to be that because so the OD ban. So do you prefer this approach, having these these heroes round the other way, taking that Ember away from the safe lane, putting him in the mid? Uh, yeah, I, th I like that better. I yeah. just don't know where how to really rate safe lane Monkey King still. <laughs> It's one, Battle Fury, it's one baby. a couple games. Maybe he'll go for the Battle Fury this time so he can keep up with the farm, but... Oh, I hope so. I'm yeah, really liking Empire's it. draft, though. Empire has a very well-oriented oh, draft. They actually have, like, building hitters and stuff. They have team fight. They have AoE stuns. Oh. Like, I don't know. Empire's just looks a lot better on paper in comparison to Fnatic's, who's is... They have, like, no objective taker, really. Again, it's just, like, Enchantress. They have to snowball lanes. That's pretty much what Fnatic went down to again. I mean, they did the last game, so I guess they could try to do that, but it's snowball lanes and better decision making. Let's see if Fnatic can adjust. That, oh, wow. that Underlord set is ridiculous. It's pretty, pretty, pretty scary. Yeah. That's, I think it's pretty massive. Look at this. We have the gigantic Sven Sword and the gigantic Underlord set. Right now. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game two Empire versus Fnatic. Let's see if Fnatic can do it. Switch around. The heroes, Maybe as they always. Can steamroll the lanes, but I think yeah. this IO Ember may actually stand to have some trouble if they are just going straight mid. I think if Queen of Pain and Night Stalker start mid, I think it's much, much, much stronger lane in comparison. Maybe even if the AA and, Co and the Co-op start mid too, that it's just really hard for them to actually punish either one of those heroes, if, unless they step like the AA steps really far out of position. About it, they can just start dual lanes and dual range versus low armor Ember and IO. They can just right click them. DJ gets a nice deep warden, level one, to watch the pull cap. He didn't actually block it this time, so he's trying to make plays around that bottom side is what I would think. Yeah, Rezo. By the looks of it. Look at this pinging coming up. It looks they, they know they that they're, they're actually going to run a... Um, are they going to go aggressive with this? I don't know. Okay, no, it's just them hanging around the room spot. Yeah, DJ, you say, could indeed end up hanging around down bottom with a higher. Certainly could maybe look to try and bully Ghost Stick as well after he gets a few levels. But uh, at the same time, it's, it's going to be eyes on Roger really, how he mirrors the movements of Febby. So they're going to leave DJ. the Monkey King in a 1v1 versus Clock. That could actually be really painful. Clock is one of the best 1v1 melee heroes. But that being said, Monkey King's also pretty damn good because of Jingu. But if you if you get isolated at like level three, battery assault is way the damage from battery assault is just way too high. Yes. So he yeah. does have to watch his positioning on the monkey. King. Yeah, I'm I guess curious it works. To see how that lane well, works. Probably, yeah, because we've got that. But and then at the same time as the monkey king, I guess you can play around the cogs. I'd imagine it at the right angle, you can probably still hit over the cogs. Yeah, if you hit at the right angle, definitely, because yeah. that attack range that you have. Injured. This mid lane matchup, Roger once again. In the middle to help out FN. Yeah, I think this I mean Empire this is an Empire favored line uh lane for sure. Go, I mean I, I, Ghost King should be able to do just fine top. I think it's like I'll just gonna be annoying with those the, the first level, that first level of the Jink. Yeah, mid lane. So we said the two low armor heroes from Fnatic, the IO and the Ember, they should just get right clicked a ton by FN and that's exactly what's happening. I've been having a very solid start here in this first wave. They're already starting the ancient stacking too. The Night Sucker stacked it once already, so they will have that for the Sven. A Wildkin bottom starting the tornado. Mikoshka's taking a lot of pressure. Ohio actually might be able to just kill him here. Yeah, I mean he gets the root off. But he's very slow moving speed hero 290. They actually do throw the stun just in case. Rezo will do enough just to hold him back. See if uh, DJ can turn anything around. He's coming back down here. Has got a Centaur Conqueror. It's a good try for something. Maposhka is still rel you know, relatively low on this lane. If DJ's you can get the Centaur in down. there. Yeah, the, the wave is pushing in really hard. DJ's starting to make his way down. He's got a secondary creep, so another tornado to harass Rezo under the creep. Oh, this is actually going to suck under the yeah. tower. They're going to have a good background. Can they get Maposhka? They'll look to try and close him with the Ooh. stomp. He's going to he's gonna whiff it. And with that, Maposhka should get himself away. Don't have any further control. I mean, Fnatic certainly putting the pressure on on this bottom lane, not quite getting the kills. Rezo, he's still getting the CS, you know, despite Go this stick pressure. Top. 
Oh, he almost dies. Rajit almost able to clean him up with that level 2 balance. Alright, level 2, Jengu. I'm gonna try again on Reza. They're definitely pressuring him a lot. This time the war cry is gonna wear out Rezo. Yeah, with Febby coming in, surely Rezo can't get himself out. He can't. We'll tick down there. DJ gets the final touch. The rotation is successful. So they are doing the putting the enchanters down toward bottom. So Clockwork suffering super hard actually. 14 to 4 on the monkey king and Ghost if only has three last hits. He's just it's not playing too well around the Jingu. That's something that happens when you don't really you're not really used to the hero. And he's had to expend quite a lot of mana. Well, close to sitting at zero. Didn't think he'd be doing that badly. I didn't think he. I thought he'd have a some CS, but man, four, four to sixteen. That's <laughs> quite a big discrepancy. Pretty crazy. Just to see, yeah, as we've been saying earlier, what what build Arjit does go for this game. Faith boost, of course. First yeah, it's on the menu as always. Two zero two, the or two zero three build into the monkey. I've seen even people go four zero four from time to time. The ulti has such a long cooldown, it doesn't give you too much. You're not really fighting until later on as a Monkey King. At least as that roll. On oh, mid lane, FM, despite the dual lane of Kyo and Febby. Still with the lead at the moment on his Queen of Pain. So, I think Tenor done again. I mean, the lane's not going too terribly for Fnatic. We saw that last game, but they were just unable to really move forward to a game victory. Bottom lane, a higher will get propped here by the cold feet. Resolution's done more than enough to hold him in place to make sure that the time's there for the cold feet to kick in. I'll take the kill. So, you know, they're still pressuring Res, although he's not getting any free farm compared to the Mon Monkey King who's getting absolute free farm. Ajit should be able to get that level 3 Jingu skilled up, and now again. Now Ghost actually just can't even go for that type of battery assault play. Roger. Too much. He's, he's gonna get this, isn't he? He is. Oh, he just walks in and gets the solo there. Did have a couple Might of. Might pay with his life. Though. Hits with yeah. the chilling touch, and, and Deep Febby will find him. The help of Dark Troll Summoner still out from the Enchantress. Two, two, both teams. Able to make these movements, get the catch out. Bottom lane, Roger immediately back in though. The Poshka's there. They know that they can kill a higher if they get the cold feet to kick in. Yeah, nighttime kicking in, so Roger is much stronger. Smoke rotation coming from DJ. Roger's gonna break it. And go. That is the dream. Not gonna have to worry that about that rotation too much. He walks in again. On DJ, the stun's gonna be there. They've got the IO as well with Tether. I just should be okay to walk this off. With this just beam. a bit too beefy indeed, Jam. Yeah, I and mean, Poshka's there. Rezo's actually going to come with a wrap around. And they're going to try to turn this around and get a kill out of it. The stun connects onto Febby. And Febby's gone. FN TP's in, jumps forward to get himself involved. DJ, can he even himself get away? Roger, playing on the edge of his life there, comes in to throw one more void out. Get the damage onto DJ. Doesn't quite finish him off, but still, Empire. Indeed, react to that. And as you said, you know, they the smoke dispelled, but Fnatic there. Sort of set on still trying to make something happen. Yeah. But Empire, we're going to react to that any day of the week. This Monkey King is definitely going to be a problem, though. Absolute free farm. 45 CS at five minutes. Or almost six minutes. So, yeah, all eight C Yeah, I don't think he's missed a single one, actually. No, nah, that's, yeah, that's pretty crazy, six minutes. I've been watching. I, I really don't think he's... I think he's missed maybe one CS. Clockwork, like, denied it inside of a cog. This catapult. There. Ghost of denies one, but... Ajit now is in position to get a lot of harassment here. Getting that level 3 Jingu. DJ and Ohio on the hunt again down at the spot. Resolution. There's pressure on Rezo here. He's just gonna have to make his way back. Mid lane QO, only level 5. FN blinks on the high ground, and that should be free and this mid lane as well, and CS, yes, I mean, the farm's still been very good on the Ember. But as we're seeing, when, he, when he's on his own, yeah, FN definitely has the chance to, to get the kill. Fnatic is switching their priorities. They're like, we're playing around Ohio more this game. That's, yeah, when the, that was the, what the ward kind of told me from the start, and that's, he, DJ's been consistently moving down there. Rezo, I just trying to continue the pressure now. There's no stun from Rezo here, and he now got it. He gets it out. Ooh, takes the ball to the face though. Ghosted comes in. 
So let's get the two-man cogs out. Still the Jingu. Focusing Febby, they will take down one. Yeah, I'm just going to be able to build it back up. If he gets one more touch on the Ghost King, but he actually doesn't. He's panicking. And now the cold feet kicks in. RG, can he keep himself alive? Just at the face boots as he moves himself away. Roger, oh, Roger trying to turn him down on the high ground. Can he catch this out? Looks like the Monkey King's already out there. Will drop the high ground ward. But indeed, he's already gone with Poshka and FN. Moving forward, they do have the Sonic Wave. But FM realizing this is not a place he wants to be as Maposhka will get caught out. The rotation from Fnatic pretty much bringing the full team down here. Does end up getting them a couple of kills. The early aggression what we talked about with Fnatic. They did that very successfully in the last game too. Leading about by 2k. But this time it's different. This time they are heavily shutting down Rezo. It's not a free farm span by any means. It's just FN who's you know, having a bit of a better start in comparison. But... They accomplish. I want to know what Ajit's going to be building toward. He hasn't put anything in his quick buy yet. We've seen several, you know, item choices that we talked about last game, like the Echo Saber, Diffusal. Just going to go for the Kila for now, just having that mana sustain since his hero spells are pretty costly still. I see smoking up with DJ. Ready to see if they can find some action. Empire, who have they got towards the top of the moment? Roger and Rezo. Rezo is obviously the big one if they can get the catch on to Sven. Ghostic's got to keep moving around this clockwork. He uh, he is like the only real playmaker they have on the team right now. If they want to, ideally they want to fight near their tier one so he can just TP, get a nice hook off, and then FN can follow up. Fnatic, in a pretty dangerous position right now. They may be able to kill Rezo, but the reinforcements are coming from Empire here. Ghostic is setting up. Night Stalker is already there too. And they go straight in, looking for Rezo. We'll get rooted, just gonna stun out onto a higher jump four from FN. Sonic Wave comes out onto three. The three Balance strike. strike gets thrown out in return though, and indeed Fnatic. They've taken down Rezo, has cost them a higher. Ghost it comes in with a hook shot to hold back the Monkey King, but already QO's in on top of Roger. Claims a second for Fnatic. He won't quite be able to get the catch onto Ghost it, but Fnatic. FN's got blink cooldown. He's dead. He is super dead here. a lot better already for Fnatic here in game two. Yeah, Miposhka's only level four. The Night Stalker also very under leveled. And I mean, Rezo, level six on the spend with only treads. So he gets brought down very quickly and Fnatic able to outnumber Empire's rotations. It yeah. looks like Empire was kind of like baiting it a little bit too with the way that they instant ported to react. And now it's Uber Lord time. He being toward top. We'll be able to siege that tower. Much better. But actually, you know what? The thing is, this is the way it looks like last time. That is exactly true. Exactly the did, way the game looked last time. It did look good time. at this stage of the game last time. Yeah, well, it was 20 minutes in and they were pressuring an high ground. But they didn't have the same solution to Rezo. No, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Rezo's in such a different position in comparison to where it was yeah. last game. Last game, he was yeah. at the top here. He would yeah. be like 4,000 net worth this fan. A 3k gold lead and a 2,000 gold lead for Fnatic so far in this game. Enchantress and Io have been putting in work with the Underlord. Those two rotations have been quite nice. Empire now, they've got level 6 on Ancient Apparition. They're looking to try to make some plays. Let's see what they can get. I need Ghost to come to get the jump with his hook shot. Not to find anyone at the moment down bottom. I hope that someone will TP down. But it's not going to be the case at the moment. Fnatic, three towards the mid, two towards the top. High they'll, probably, DJ. they'll probably just have Rezo push the lane out and do that similar motion that we saw last game, right? Rezo was pushing yeah, top and they bait. sat three people. Yeah, a little bit of bait. Ajit, they may be able to isolate him here. That's a yeah, big that's kill. an easy one. Yeah, he's at the top. And he will be taken down. Big kill for Empire to find there. The Monkey King walking out in his lonesome. Huge bounty, yeah. 469 gold, so they get a 641 gold shoot overall and 780 experience. That's, a, that's pretty much half the experience leaf that was already there. Now they're setting up the top as well. Relocate though, coming right on top of Maposhka. Yeah, QO jumps in immediately. Maposhka's in trouble and so is Roger. Damage far too much from Fnatic. FM will get the Sonic Wave out, takes out the IO. But another trade favoring Fnatic. They'll take the tier two. Really keeping the pressure up nicely. They maintain this lead. Rezo still needing a lot of time to, to really get to where he wants to be on this fan. Yeah, he's super far behind. He's. You know, we mention it all the time. If you're even a Sven, you're behind. So the fact that he's behind his fan, he's super behind. FN, though, with the veil finished up, looking pretty good about even with the network. Roger getting caught out again by this route. 
They look to chase him down. The chains are there, holding him in midair. Another catch for Fnatic. They've got a lot of grab, as we're seeing with the chains, with the root being thrown out by Ohio. It's a really fast lineup. They don't depend on any of their ultimates. They constantly just keep running at Empire. So Empire actually requires their ulti. They need their Gons. Well, they haven't used Gons right there, but they need the FN ulti. They need the Clockwork Hookshot in conjunction with the AA Blast. While Fnatic needs none of that, they can just go. Empire trying to fight. Yep, Ghostig initiating with the hook shot straight onto a higher boundless try that comes out of 4 RJ. It has the ultimate, gets it out. FN has to blink away. Ghostig trapped in the dance there. Will to be taken down. QO, Ice Blast, not going to get the initial connection. Just took it the pass over. Turns just for the slight. Roger focusing Febby on the sideline. FN jumps forward, trying to burst down Febby. Will get the double kill. Now Rezo pops the Ghost Stroke, but he's held in place by the Searing Chains. RJ looking to build up the Jingu Mastery upon him, but Rezo keeps it just a balance to right connects. Now the Jingu's there. Arjit done into retreat now as Empire did manage to buy back this time. Get a couple of kills in return. But Fnatic will keep their big main cause alive. Both QO and Arjit getting back to safety. Still got to watch the way that they dive there. That was without Sonic Wave and Empire actually comes out decently. I don't think they got, they didn't get the, the tower deny or anything. But being able to get kills when they're behind is super nice. Razzle though. Getting kited up super hard just because of under farm. I mean, it's 13 minutes, level 9 Sven, without even Mask of Madness. He's gonna have it soon, though. Well, he'll be able to accelerate, and they've got ancient stacks aplenty. They've got two triple stacks for him to really surge his net worth up. But they are walking under vision, so Fnatic does have some good deep water aggression coming out, and they see Ghostic and Roger moving toward top. Let's see if Kyo gets caught out. Kyo's gonna be a bit careful. Uh -oh. Hookshot connects, silence, did have the flame guard out. See, that's going to be enough to save him, and again, Febby's in. Gets him out of there. Nice save from Febby. Yeah, they're playing around their vision very nicely there. And in the meantime, Ohio's able to pressure bottom. So went for a uh, first item for step on Underlord to do, try to deal with that clockwork rather than going for like the hood of the pipe oh, that he Oh, Febby, out. is he going to do it? <laughs> oh, Febby, he's good at that. He did the tether TP out. He did the tether TP out right under the nose of five of Empire who came up specifically to try and catch him. I feel like we've seen that a lot lately. Yeah. GH had that big one yesterday. And now we've seen that twice happen in this series. Fnatic looking to continue the siege. And it seems like it is going to be the Echo Saber Diffusal Blade, the standard build from Aja okay. that, we were, that we were talking about in the last game. And now, okay, this is similar to the last game. 14 minutes. It's They're a little earlier, yeah. At the high ground. This time around, doing it a lot quicker. QO. Chains onto Ghosting. Can they get away with it this time, Fnatic? This is where they began to crumble in game one when they had this lead, had this high ground push in this very early stage. The sidelines, Arjit looking to, to put the ult down and uh, will pop it. Make sure he can maintain control as the rest of his team are allowed to push in. Trying to make it as hard as possible for Empire to do anything about this. FN's the other side, tries to get the Sonic Wave out, but the Balance Strike Connects does still blow it. Connects onto three, and they've taken two Empire. Buyback is going to be there from the Ember Spirit as he tries to get himself back in. Ohio trying to be kept alive by Febby, but it's not enough. They will bring down the AA, but Fnatic. Oh, I feel like we've seen this story seen all this before. before. They've lost three. QO brought back for this, and he gets taken down. They don't even get the Tier 3 this time, and it's... It's really just, oh, I, if this ends up going the same way as game two, so it's, now it, it's going to be feeling pretty bad for Fnatic. So now Fnatic respawns and they go for Roche, right? And we have this, oh an goodness. instant repeat. Surely it doesn't just happen <laughs> again. Oh no, Fnatic. They're just pushing, their, they're pushing the limit too much. They're forcing that with the monkey. And look, they're drawing the line again. Do you see that by QO? He draw the line to bottom. He's like, we're going again, guys. No hesitation. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they all are. They're all ready to just go back for that siege. They're drawing circles as well. They're ready to play around the vision. I mean, as you said, they, they don't play around their ultimates. And yeah, they're trying to keep the aggression. That's fine, I, I mean, Rez has got strength down, but it is, it's back up in only 20 seconds, so he, he's going to have it for round yeah. two. That last fight was very well done, though, by Ghostic. He isolated the right side while everybody else kind of fought in on the left. Here we go, Arjit okay, jumping get a fight in here. very boldly. Does get the chains onto Rezo. Rezo turns, looks for the stun. He's going to go for the TP. Oh, does he make it out with this TP? Oh, he does. does. Rezo, smart heads up play there from Resolution. Gets him out of what was guaranteed death. And with that, Fnatic won't get the catch they hoped for with that smoke. I can't believe the exact same thing. Just okay, well, Sven now is completely caught up, though. He's got... Mask of Madness almost with the Echo Saber finished up.
but they're still, you know, it's still about a two and a half thousand gold lead for Fnatic. Just need to watch themselves, watch their positioning, how much they stack up versus that clock, so they don't get hit by a big AA blast like happened in the last fight. Smoke Empire from Empire. Up. Yeah, their turn to try and look to be the ones to, to initiate. They used one buyback in the last fight, right? Fnatic? Fnatic uh, they used the Ember buyback. Fnatic used Ember buyback and yeah. Empire used Knight. So it was a dieback, though, right? It was a dieback. Okay, he went down again, yeah. Kill it. And Empire, they're gonna find an opportunity here. They find right. the IO and yeah, he's a kill. Bye bye, baby. I think it cure as well. No, he's got the remnant. It's fine. Bottom lane, same time. It's actually been Fnatic making the play. They found Reza. Just get the two man stun. Being slowed down. FN's there. And in fact, FN with the Yules pickup holds back Arjit. So the Arjit doesn't have the chance to chase down. See if Empire can jump back into this. So they just respect Fnatic and let them hang outside of the base. Do Fnatic really want to try and get away with this again? They're still down on the bottom lane. I mean. <laughs> Fnatic, they, they drew the line, they want that Rax. They're backing up maybe a little bit, but yeah, they're not, we keep saying it, they're not really ulti reliant, so they really want to just keep that pressure going whenever they know that one of Empire or two of Empire's moves are down. Right now it's the hook shot, but everything else is up and online. Daytime for another minute and a half, so they may have, they want to take an opportunity It's not you know, playing under the night of the Night Stalker. But Rezo. Makes his way top, starting to get that push out there and getting that money he needs. Yeah, Very so close far. to Echo. The Echo Saber is going to really hurt that double hit on anyone with the God Strength. He's now level 12 too, so level 2 God Strength. Be really nice. But Ajit now is. No one looks, looks like he knows something's up. He's trying to look for a setup for them to relocate on. But I think he gets spotted by the rocket. And also the ward that uh, Empire had actually spotted him, so they knew that something was up and Rezo backed up. But now picked up by a higher, so... Stanky. Yeah, very nice against pretty much the entirety of that lineup of them, Rezo. A lot of magic Empire this time around. Roger. Spotted out, but again, as, as you mentioned, this ward is doing so much. Yeah, that ward from Empire they placed earlier during that game competition. Just really paying dividends, seeing all of Fnatic's rotation. They're able to back up. Ooh! Oh, God, he just misses it. <laughs> just sees him a little too late. And now it's time for Rezo to farm. He hasn't even actually farmed his ancient stack, so I thought he'd actually done them already. Okay. Nice, nah, still had the triple there and they had the triple over here. So Echo Saber was finished just before that Ancient was picked up, killed. So 700 gold from that Ancient and almost a full level. But now God Strength is on cooldown and they see that. Fnatic does have an op for spotting that the God Strength is down. So they're trying to get on the aggressive once that happens. Rezo might get caught here. Nope. Looks like they spotted him. Roger actually sees the rotation coming in from Fnatic. Now Roger could be the one who goes down though. So you get jumped upon here. Roger tries to slow down the monkey kick, but indeed with a full five mana fanatic surrounding him, the nice stalker will be gone. Grab the kill. Moves towards mid. Fnatic will want to start to take some object objectives once again. With this kill, the bottom lane, FN. And a bit of pressure on. He's actually found QO. He can play around with this a little bit. QO. Sonic Wave is available for FN. Jumps forward. Still has the mana for it. He can get this, but. Oh, Ooh. the jump away. At the last second. Ah, yeah, Q Okay, Q on you. He was baiting that out. He was baiting that out. He succeeded. No Sonic Wave now. Plus, the big old these, there's no God Check. No but God Check's about to be back online now. And there we go, straight at that. That's an Underlord just melting at the front of it all. That's going to be one down. Arjit turns with a boundless strike. FN, though, jumps in, has the dagger. Would love to have the Sonic Wave here, but it looks like it's not even needed. They've lost three. Roger focusing Fair B with the help of FN. Rezo gets the stun onto the Enchantress, chops him down. It's a team wipe. And, I mean, I guess Fnatic, they're great in the first 20 minutes, but after that, it's, it's like they lose the plot. Total crumble, yeah. It's every single time, it seems like that's the case. They just get caught off guard this time by Ghostic again. The hook shot into the follow up from the AA blast and with the veil from the Queen of Pain, everybody just starts dropping relatively low. They don't have a mech because they went for the hood on, and the four staff on the Underlord. He doesn't have pipe either. So they have no extra sustain other than the Enchantress heal, which doesn't really hit anybody. The IO, I don't believe, had any earn charges. 
And yeah, the God Strength came online right afterwards. That was without Sonic yeah. Wave, and they got 5 0 wiped. I mean, Posca Tops at least gonna die for the cause. Not at least picks up a kill there, but. Still just looking like very similar to that last game, Empire are going to be able to find their timing window here and Resolution is going to have a BKB pretty soon now with that Echo Saber in level 15. Wasn't he just, wasn't he like level 9 at 14 minutes and now yeah, he's level 15 shot at... shot up so massively and it's, yeah. it's just a, it, again like game on where Rezo and FM were just farming at level because of the heroes and, and just because of how they're playing in a way that Fnatic, they just cannot keep up our Jit and Cure. Very hard for these players that get, even if they win a team fight. Empire have definitely got fullbacks at this stage. Yeah, they're, you know, it's, it's Fnatic trying to, they're trying to force those buildings, but they don't really have the greatest siege. I mean, Monkey King's okay at right-clicking towers. Like, I wouldn't even, I guess okay is maybe even pushing it. But yeah, 150 damage compared to a Sven with God Strength, that's like no comparison. They have the Enchantress creeps, but now at this point, the Enchantress starts to lose favor because an enchantress. He did. He did his job. DJ actually did a really good job this game of securing Ohio's game. Fnatic now trying to steal that ancient stack from Rezo. They're dropping pretty low though. Yeah, they're gonna be careful. And they barely. They didn't even kill any of it actually. Just ended up softening it up a little bit for resolution. Now they're trying to take the engagement though. Ajit on the high ground. But Rezo does not care. And Rezo, he's got the BKB. He's ready to go straight onto Ohio and TJ. They've got to back off. Immediately retreating. FN jumps forward. Ohio. He's going to look to take TJ. No, he's going to cancel it. He's decided to stick around, but that means they're going to take a three man Sonic Wave to the face. Fnatic, they've lost two. Can they do anything to turn? Ajit held back by the Yule Scepter Empire. Disengaging with both Rezo and FN, but Ghostic comes in. Looking to try and set up onto Ajit for Rezo to come back in with the stun. FN jumps forward. They take down DJ as well. And Ohio, does he get out? He does. He's fortunate, but the rest of his team are not. As once again, Fnatic just losing nearly everyone. I mean, it's it, at least it wasn't a team wide. That's pretty much you know, the best news we could say for Fnatic at this stage. Yeah, but th this but time still. it's like they go for the. It's look, we said the decision making. This time they try to steal an ancient stack. It's like, what is that really gonna do Why for you, you at this the point? Ancients? Your heroes don't even kill it quickly. None of them kill it fast. They don't have high physical damage. We've been emphasizing this over and over again. It's just the Monkey King for physical. And yeah, Empire ends up being able to take a huge fight, even though the Clockwork Hook shot this time hits nobody. And most of Resolution's BKB even got kited out, but the damage from Fnatic is lacking versus what Empire has and the mobility. Shiva's gone now in FN. Got, wait, he's got a full Shiva's? Yeah, he's. I mean, look oh, at his massive. farm. Look, look how he's, he's as farmed as this Rezo Sven. You know, FN. I mean, we didn't really talk about it too much in the last game because Rezo was, was the one going crazy with the farm. But, I mean, FN as well did have great stats at the end of it all. This yeah. Is, some very solid performances this morning. He always plays well. I actually yeah. always think FN is. He's a super good player. It's just, you know, it's the Empire team as a whole has some. Of course, they're playing with a you know, standard to go up Rezo. So it does make a bit of a difference in the way that they play together. But FN has been owning for the most part every time. Ajit. Trying the to hunt him down, but... A very tanky club with the Yules. Yeah. Does not have enough control on his own. Maybe with a Ohio and a Root, they can try for it, but FN... He is into the tree line. And already out to the side. They might they find him. Yule, no, they they got, got him. him. He's got Yules. Do they have enough stuns? I don't know if they do. They've already thrown up with the boundless strike and such. He's so tanky. Yeah, he's got the Shiva's guard. He's going to be fine. He is going to be okay. Boundless strike. How long until it's back up? Nine seconds still, of course. Yeah, FN's out. Back to his teammates. Wow. Despite having a full lineup there. <laughs> I mean, they you can't you can't complain that they they stack the chains and the boundless strike because obviously they were like, we've got to stun him, we've got to stun him. But I mean, then there's just, just not enough lockdown. He's got 30 armor on a Queen of Pain with 1800 HP at 26 minutes. They don't have the damage to deal with him yet. DJ, Rezo focus him down. The nice hook shot doesn't really catch anyone actually though. Get the pushback push onto back. Cure, giving them the touch. Finish Mob. No, does still manage to remnant away. But they'll chase forward. Effort jumps in. Sonic Wave over the face of Ember Spirit. Takes him down. As Rezo just plays around with Febby as he comes back off the back of the relocate. Another kill for Empire and Fnatic. It really does seem, unfortunately for them, that just the the flow of the games. Game one and game two has been very similar. Fnatic. I'd say identical. <laughs> yeah, it, it really seems like it. You know, it's obvious, you know, these players, they do have great mechanical skill. They play the lanes very well. But when it comes to moving together as a team, it starts to fall apart. They throw down the ult, but of course, straight out. Oh, no, he's just set up for that. Oh, 
Wait, who forced who? Someone forced someone, and that just set up for the two man set on Ohio it. Ohio did, yeah. Was it Ohio? He ended up setting him and... inadvertently up for the. It's over. I... I think it's over. It really feels like it. I mean, Rezo's level 19. They shut Rezo down so hard in the early game, and now this Sven is top of the net worth, getting, what is he, 9 and 3. He's monster kill. FN is also godlike. The two cores on the side of Empire have 20 of the 30 kills. And I don't really see how Fnatic can take the fights now again. Similar sim similar kind of thing to the last game. They had a good stride. They tried to go for a very early high ground break pre-20 minutes. And it bites them in the ass. QO. Can they catch him out here? No. <laughs> it's just, again, just so hard for Fnatic now in this position that they've been forced into. Resolution. See what he goes next. Last game he just picked up the crystal. Stainless. Should be a lot more fun this game. Summer. Okay. Yeah, for the Emperor this time around since they're not as far ahead. Empire. I'm gonna find a higher. More stuff up to the high ground, but Ghost Dick jumps forward with the hook shot. They do have a shrine down. There's the Ice Blast, catch it through onto three of them. Oh, Rezo's now there. Rezo jumps in, the cleave, ripping through the ball, the Sonic Wave as well, Ohio. He's not going to be able to get out of it with the ultimate. Fnatic lose three, they lose four. They may even lose more as QO is being chased down by Roger. Can they finish this one off? Jump four from FN. Yes, they can. Oh, this series has just been a major feels bad man for Fnatic. Yeah. You just, it's just painful to watch for them. But also, at the same time, obviously very impressive from Empire. Resolution, pulling it together with the team. You know, as you mentioned, obviously this lineup being put together at the last moment with Resolution making his appearance. And we're certainly seeing in these games just how, even though they get against this team that's, that's obviously had much more preparation as a full five-man, Empire can still make these really good moves as a team. Yeah, they're definitely making great moves with the Night Stalker and just their decision-making of you know, buying gems early on and just damage control, bringing multiple heroes when they first like outnumbering the enemy team over and over again. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's more so, I, Empire is playing good, but I think Fnatic is also just making some very, very poor in-game calls at some points because they want to be doing that aggression, they want to be doing those fighting, fighting, fighting with their little cooldowns, but not at the enemy high ground. You know, if you want to be taking pickoffs like that in different areas, it can, it can work. But they also didn't build like sustain because they're dealing with the AA, so he doesn't want to build mech then he doesn't really contribute too much. You know, they put so many eggs in their Underlord basket, but what does he really give you? Ohio in trouble. Empire, they're around if they want to go in on him. Febby will TP him out. Febby's going to be coming back, and Resolution's waiting for him. Febby's trying the TP. Does he get it this time? Is he going to try the time? It's so hard to do. It's, 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 it's like a, what, a 30 second of a second or something? The ticks, it's, it's I think it's one less server tick or something. Yeah, I think it's, it's like 0.0003 or something they said that you can get the frame. Might as well try it for the memes. Yeah. He'll do it as soon as it hits three seconds, though, for the people that don't know. You, when you relocate as an IO, as soon as that three second comes up over your head on the relocate back, you have to start your TV. And you may be able to get it, but yeah, Ohio also gets brought down. Empire just running away with this one now. 15k gold lead. Play it safe. Go for Roshan. Cure will try and push them back. And already the response is there from Ghosting. And Cure just not going to stick it This will be Rosh. Nothing that Fnatic can do to stop it. Full Orchid finished up for Rezo. Got a more catch now. And again, I just swear that. I swear Arjit's been building this diffuser blade for like the last 20 minutes. Oh yeah, he is. I mean, they've all stagnated. Every yeah. single one of the players on Fnatic have, their, their item itemization just stopped. It was like Fnatic, or QO got bail, and now he's been working on Shivas for quite a long time. Same thing with Ajit going for that diffusal. There's no four step on Enchantress yet. Same thing with the IO. All just got really slowed down. They hit that brick wall of Empire's base. Plan for Fnatic. Can they find that dream fight? 
feel like Cure needs a fair few items. Transition into Battle Fury Rapier. Let's go. I'm trying to think of the ways the you know the run to recovery for them, but I just then I can't just keep seeing that discrepancy in network from the Sven and the Quap versus Ember and Monkey King. Ben might even get brought down I, here, but he's, he's got, got self too. He's got another blink. I don't even know if they can pop the first Aegis. Okay, okay, they will. They will. They'll take him down once. Can they kill him a second time, though? I mean, it's a big kill if they can. And with the instant root, they're going to be close to. Yeah, the they root again. managed to do it. Oh, he tries with the TPI. He's not going to make it. That's a big kill. That is a very big kill for Fnatic. That is one really strong thing about the pit, you know. If the pit is down, you get rooted once, you get chain rooted again by somebody else, the root applies again. So the, if they can isolate heroes like that absolutely by themselves, and they can get kills. But, when but it's, it's Empire as a team. As we saw, it does pretty much take absolutely everything to get that kill. Yeah. I do indeed get it. Empire, looking to push down onto that tier two at the bottom, knowing that... We'll see the Wukong's command unavailable for just over a minute. Can't quite let to take the shrine. Still gets to take a tier 3 Empire. Roger is the third highest level in the game. It's nice Actually, all of Empire is pretty high up there on that level <laughs> level chart. The AA is even level 16. You're up for Fnatic. Empire having some deep boards as well. So able to watch the Fnatic movements, but they did just lose Aegis, and it looks like they're trying to wait for Resolutions, Bloodthorn, as well as FN to respawn before they go too crazy on the aggressive here. But they're looking very commanding. They've got all their item choices. They've got the gem on the Night Stalker. So it's that vision. It's all the Empire show. Ajit does have the Diffusal Blade now. He's got it. Finally! Okay. He's got it. He's got it now. So he can remove the War Cry, and, you know, it gives you a little bit of extra damage and stuff. Removing that Yules as well from the Queen of Pain. Yeah, but that's definitely going to help out, yeah. Some, da some more damage, which they're desperately going to need. However... That war cry with BKB, he can't purge the war cry off one of the BKBs on. They don't have anything to deal with BKB. Ohio looking to be in potential trouble. We can see Empire wrapping around. Ohio's gonna go for the TP out. He's gonna take himself and the other for it, but oh no! Bebby was not quite in range. He sticks around. He's gonna be taken down. They'll lose DJ as well. And they want Archer too. Yeah, they're gonna find him here with the vision as they flap across the tree line, cut down the tree. Oh, the force staff to cut the tree by oh. him with post gun. Neat little plays like that. There will be the full staff trying to save RG, but FN jumps up to the high ground. Rezo pops the BKB, blinking forward, chasing down Ohio once again. Empire storming away with the team fight, taking four heroes, losing absolutely nothing in return. They'll push down mid. We have QO looking for a bit of the rat -a tap but as an Ember Spirit with Shivas and Veil, not the quickest of tower destroyers. Yeah, that's definitely it. I mean they just can't fight. They have no solution to BKB. They have no solution, I mean, especially when you're 20k behind with this type of lineup. Again, Fnatic drafted a very snowball kind of lineup. They did snowball, but then they just hit that brick wall and got completely turned around on and pay heavily. Kyo tries to TP back. He gets Yule's up, and they're losing two sets of racks. It's very easily. I kind of wonder if you look back and say we should have banned out the Sven. They did have a chance to, didn't they? They did have the chance to. I mean, it was the, it was the first yeah. three picks by Empire were exactly identical, and it looked like that's what we were going to see, too. I think especially if you're going to try and make this Monkey King thing work. I, I think we're seeing just in these team fights how much the War Cry does you do. That, that Monkey King just didn't get nothing done. Yeah, he doesn't Maybe, do anything. He may even die before he could get the chance to re-relook and kill it back. Ooh, it's close. But the timing is just there, so we'll get out. Yeah, the Sven is just seeming so strong against this sort of play style that Fnatic are trying to do. Yeah, the Sven and also, like, the, the fact they picked last pick the Queen of Pain, yeah. too, who was, like, kind of that steady hero for this game. He was always, like, kind of coasting at the top while Rezo was a bit behind until that big fight happened, and Rezo just completely snowballed ahead. And then they had, as well had, you know, two 3x Ancients for Rezo to go farm after they win a huge team fight. And now Bloodthorn is finished. It's pretty much six slotted Sven at the 36 minute mark after getting. Aggro Trilane, kind of, we could say. You know, the Io, Enchantress, and Munderlord were heavily emphasizing shutting Rezo down, and they did a good job until tried to force him. Really be careful down as well, Fnatic. Could get messy from him again, and there's the jump in with the Bloodborne and the stun. No chance at all for QO to no react. Either. Spent his gold on the Perseverance. No buyback for him. Tier 2 is going to get dropped really quickly, and Empire's just going to go high ground. This should just be the game. Fnatic going to heavily struggle to be able to do anything in this fight. They're just smoked up. They're going to try. 
see if they can do anything about this. Already, indeed, Empire standing the ground now. Not going fully in yet. Empire taking it carefully. Yeah, the guard strength is on cooldown, so may as well just it's not that crazy. The cooldown is only 44 seconds. Looks like they're just going to go move the easier racks. Range racks is still up there for the taking up top. Roger, Maposhka, and Gosip on the way. 15 seconds and Ember will be back. We'll see if QO's participants can turn anything around here. Empire, 27,000 gold lead. Very easy once again for the 15 minute mark for them. They have been on the up and up and Fnatic and able to stop their, their rule of this game. They do not have the solutions. <laughs> Empire is getting close to their level 25s. Maybe they just wait for that one to be extra careful. Both Rezo and FN are about to hit that point. And they're picking up even more items too, so. But they don't really need it. Everything else is pretty much luxury at this point for Empire. They can definitely just go for that high ground, but don't want to be too over excessive because fighting into Monkey King Ulti can still can be scary if you don't bring him down right away. But yeah, I they mean, still it, lack the solution it can, for BKB. But I don't know. Man. Yeah, this, this I mean, if it's a, a full duration Monkey King, Monkey King Ulti and may, if you stand stuck, there yeah. and you <laughs> drop all your items, maybe I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, it's it's so far behind. It's just way yeah, it's way too much. But you're right. I mean, that's pretty much the best thing there. Yeah, it's the best thing. You've got. It's very underwhelming Monkey King out at this stage. Yeah, yeah they like Monkey King out with some some firestorm to percent damage. You know, I mean, <laughs> they might kill the AA. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh oh, the jump here from Empire Rezo hey, comes through. Right away. And Fnatic, they've lost two. They're Great. gonna lose Arjit as well. Febby, can he get himself back to base? He cannot. FN jumps forward. QO, the last surviving, and GG is cool. <laughs> cool. It's all over here in the series for Fnatic as Empire grabbed the 2 0. And a nice way for Empire really to wake up. You know? Yeah. Having these two kills seemingly handed to them on a plate after that 20 minute mark, where both just took a severe downhill turn for Fnatic. Empire just making definitely better decision making Fnatic. I think they have a really Summer's good not going right really good there. 10 minutes, really good 12 minutes. They know how yeah. to punish the lanes. They ide identify what they want to do in the game until they hit that point. And then they try to just siege high ground and it gets turned around. I mean, that's twice back to back. I didn't yeah. get to see all the Fnatic games. No, I've not but seen any of them. I have seen bad. it be very scrappy. Okay. You know, overall, like the few replays that I did get to see last night, it was them duking it out in fights over and over again and having good having good starts but then rough mid to late games similar to this well, there we have it ladies and gentlemen Empire with the 2-0 confident play Rezo looking good for the team Fnatic struggling in the opening of today in a day that's going to be very important for them they are not in a great spot at the moment in the rankings they need some wins and Empire working their way and securing themselves around the middle of the board at the moment don't go anywhere there ladies and gentlemen myself and Fog will be back what have we got up next we've got some, some digital chaos DC execration digital chaos ex uh, Chaos? Chaos. Did chaos. chaos. And execration certainly will be a fun one, so don't go anywhere. We'll have that action for you right round the corner.